Happy Monday everyone! In today's video I want to talk about people who live to be over a hundred and how you can probably modify your lifestyle to live until your hundredth birthday. How long you live is about 90% in the life choices that you make, the foods you eat, the activities you do, the people you hang out with, and only about 10% is reflective of your genes. This is the oldest living person. Her name is Susie. And Susie lives in Brooklyn, New York. She was born on July 6, 1899. So that makes her 116 years old and 124 days. It's funny how like days really matter when you're super old and you're super young. Like when you were five years old and someone asked how old you were, you were five years and a half or six years and four days. Those days really matter to you. Off the coast of Italy is an island called Sardinia. Now Sardinia is known for having a small region in the mountains that consists of the oldest living men. Now these men are well into their hundreds and they still ride motorcycles, they still party, they still hang out together, they do manual labor, and they even arm wrestle each other for fun. Now in Sardinia, the older you are, the more respect you gain. Here in North America, everyone wants to stay young. They're like, oh, in my 20s, I remember my 20s, or oh, you're, you're 50 now, your life is over. In Sardinia, people look forward to aging because it means you're wiser, you have more stories, and you earn a lot more respect. In Okinawa, Japan is actually the oldest living women on the planet. Now, these women live the longest disability-free lifestyles. So they're well into their hundreds, and they don't need wheelchairs, and medications, and canes. These women have a very particular diet. They eat about eight times more tofu, they eat a lot of fish, they eat a lot of organic, plant-based food. But it's not just what they eat, it's how they eat it. I mean, in North America, we bring a whole meatloaf in the middle of the table or a huge plate of spaghetti or everything we cook is on the table. In Okinawa, they serve everything on plates in the kitchen and they're brought out a small plate. They don't even use a big plate, they use a smaller plate to restrict how much they eat. It takes about 20 minutes for your stomach to send a message to your brain that you're full. That's why you can be gorging on your meal and 20 minutes later be like, oh my god, why did I eat so much? It's because you didn't know you were eating that much. So the Okinawa women eat about 80% of their meals and then they stop. What's also incredible is their sense of community and friendship. In North America, we tend to have about one or two really good friends by the time we're 80. In Okinawa, they have about 15 to 20 really good friends. And that sense of community gives you a lot of energy and motivation to keep going. People around the planet that live to be over 100 have a few things in common with one another. One of them is a big reason to live. I mean, diet is obviously very important physical activity, but a reason to live is actually a huge motivator to keep on living. This reason to live is known as Ikigai. Lu Xian was a 118-year-old martial art teacher who lived to teach his students. Now his teaching of karate was his Ikigai. On average, people with an Ikigai live about seven years longer than people who don't. So I encourage you to find a hobby or find friends that keep you motivated or make some babies and have grandkids that'll keep you motivated but something to keep you going. Physical activity is also a huge commonality between centurions around the planet. Now this doesn't mean that they go to the gym and exercise. Actually, none of them go to the gym. What they do is simple, small activities to keep their body moving. If that's walking up and down stairs, then that burns calories and that helps you keep moving your muscles, keep your, yourself activated. If that's stirring a pot, to cook food, then that's enough to stimulate your mind and actually keep your body moving. Physical activity also coincides with reducing stress. Now all these centurions say that reducing stress in your life is very vital to not destroying your mind and to actually keep on living. If you're stressed out every day, 
you're gonna have less reasons to live. For a lot of these centurions, even making love at that age is a big stress reliever. And yes, some of them do make love. Oh my god, I'm picturing it. I'm happy for them anyways. The last thing we find in common with all these centurions is a tribe mentality. Now it doesn't mean that they live in the Amazon and they're in a tribe and they, they hunt with a bow and arrow and wear a loincloth. It means that they're part of a subculture within society. They're part of a group. They're part of a mini tribe. Your friends can be your tribe. Now, they say that you are an average of the five closest people around you. All these people that surround your life really impact who you are and who you're going to be. In the same retrospect, you are impacting the five closest people around you. So make sure that you're making good choices so that they make good choices. And together, hopefully you will all live to be over a hundred. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone watching this video reaches their hundredth birthday. And maybe you learned some tips in this video to help get you there. If you know someone who has lived to be over a hundred or who's almost there, cheer them on. Keep them going, keep them motivated, listen to their stories. They're the wisest people on the planet. They've been through the most years. If you guys like this video, click that like button. Please subscribe for more Monday morning good news. Did you guys know there's a walking fish? I'm serious. A walking fish was just discovered in the Himalayas. This is called a snakehead fish, and it lives in the water. It doesn't even have legs, but it actually comes out of the water and kind of slithers around like a snake. There's a bird called the lyre bird that actually can mimic sounds to a T. It can produce different sounds like a camera shutter or a chainsaw that sounds exactly like those items. 